studio with us. We're happy to have Tabitha Karaja to share her story of success and also give us comment on the status of the industry. Thank you so much, Tabitha, for joining us in the studio. An, an incredible story of success against the odds, big players of the market, 80 years presence in the country. But in 1997, you and your husband sit down, identify an opportunity, and say, we can play this, we can play in this market. What gave you the confidence and courage, and what drove you at that point? Okay. As I mentioned, uh, back in 1997, we wanted to go into manufacturing. And me and uh, my husband, Mr. Kanja, uh, thought that we were just going to the market and we tried to do some research. Okay, we took the side because we didn't have a lot of money. But there, then, we found there was a gap in the data market. The player then was only working on the middle and upper market. The lower market was left and was neglected to whatever was available in their market. And they thought, why don't we try and give a quality product, affordable, and uh, hygienically produced at least international standard, and give the lower market a hand. Trying it in the market, it was a single well. And then, as we were working on the lower market, we also discovered that there was also a gap in the upper market. The upper market didn't have a choice. Or oh, they had a fact when you go to the bar, just needed to say, Can I have a code there? But they said, No need. So we decided now, why don't you come with a product then? Give a choice to the tenant. So that when if somebody goes, he's able now to say, Can I have a summit? Can I have a conventional product in it? But then we thought, It had been there for 80 years. You can't just come with a product of the same kind. You don't get to come up with nothing different. Please, so different premium, more premium. And I'm sure you have to be a sort of thing that has gone on. I don't drink very much, so <laughs> I'm just a drinker. Yes. Uh, I understand it's, it's a huge, it's a huge factor. Yes. We'll, we'll come to that, and I think you mentioned the lower market was was, was born at the time, and, and we see this still impact of kilograms. So I will pose the question to you, what's the solution in Kenya um, in terms of that particular area? But looking at your background, Tabitha, you were a librarian, you worked for a parastatal, you then went into the hardware business, I, I understand. So what prepared you for this incredible position as CEO of a brewery that came in to fight a giant? And some will remember the presence of Castle Brooks, the South African brewery that came in and could not could not compete. So what prepared you for this? Okay. They have been working hard with business. You sell, you have to spread it. So you sell original function product. So you see it's possible. You can think of producing anything and to get to the market. And then now that one that is giving me a kind of doing that if things are manufactured and to get to the market. So going and discovering this new gap, it was easy thinking that if you knew a Kenyan, all what you need is to have that global environment to do business. So when you tried and did it, and it worked, there was no time of turning back. You believe after getting there, we found a lot of challenges. But every time the challenge came, we had to try and prove to the Kenyans that what is being said is not true. So after you win that, you get another one. Again, again, it's a big challenge to prove to Kenyans what is being told is not true. So you felt there was a lot at stake, even showing the country that you could do this. Yes, yes. that's part of that. Yes. 1997, which is when Chaotic World started, a lot of people who were in business through the 80s and 90s will tell you it was a very difficult time to do business in this country. It was not a conducive environment at all. So how did you begin? Did you start with loans? What, what, how did you, what were your foundations at that point? Okay. The, the good thing you know, for an entrepreneur, you know, it's not about us. It's about that energy, that will to do it. And then having a vision that you'll be able to see this vision and then carry the vision and then get the right people to do what you want to do. So you can start with whatever you do that you have from the beginning. Then after you start, you take that product to the market, it's the same door, then you have the finances now open because for you. But when you're starting, it's very hard to find it. So what we had as a ritual was saving from the other business, that's what we started with the medical interest. Step by step, what people sitting right now, and there are many businessmen struggling 
we think access to funds is the most important thing. We know where it exists, and many people say, how do we access it? There's a lot of, um, in the two numbers, they're telling mentality. What words of advice do you have for people who are really keen and determined to succeed? Okay. To get to have that vision, and then, of course, to discover the gap. You must get a gap so that you want to fill that gap. And then, if you have the vision, create forward, get the right people, get the right team to get the right team. Yes. Yeah. 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 the right people, the right team to do who you want to, to walk with you as you because it's a journey. I do have to ask one question. It is doable. It is doable. But of course, especially for the case of your team, the, the success, I owe it to this. I owe this to this. Because of that breaking, trying to break that monopoly was not easy. It's not easy. If Kenyans did say that, yes, we give you this support, we give you, we, we believe in you, we, we, we gave me that opportunity to prove that this can be done. It was not good. It was not good. I can tell you. But with the Kenyans supporting, even up to today, the way they keep on supporting, that is the only way to do it. Let me say, it's not only in culture, any business that we want to do in this country, we must support each other. We must support each other here to grow local, to grow local brands. And to grow local brands that compete globally, that can compete globally. The minute we have those brands that compete globally, we know that at least in the world, we will grow our economy. Because it's not about rocket science. We call for investors, yes, we invite them, we welcome them. But can we say the equation is when we have 100 of ours, we have one foreign investor. But you don't talk of 100 foreign investors and only one of ours. Because there is no foreign investor who grow a country, it's only us. And growing a country, Building plans that we complete globally, and then making sure that we buy Kenya, then we build Kenya. We buy Africa, we build Africa. Absolutely, and that's the key word you mentioned there is we must be competitive. Let, let's just look at the issue of, of killer groups, and I want to touch on this because you identify this gap between the lower end of the market, as you've told us. And people deserve to have healthy drinks. Well, not healthy, but you know, at least not dangerous to them. They need standards set for them. We are seeing people really losing lives. It's shocking. Um, so, if you were to sit with government today, and I'll just give you some statistics from Nakaga, looking at Embu, Makwene, and Kiambu, which seem to be the worst hit counties in the country where so many lives have been lost. Um, 19 lives just recently in Embu, uh, 35 lives. Uh, you know, we're just looking at. Uh, Across the board, Makwani, we had 17 lives lost. Kiambu, 11 lives lost. You know, and, and the numbers go down to all the counties. Huh? But these are the top three. So, if government was seated today, asking you, Tabitha, as a player in this industry, how do we contain the menace of killer groups? What would you ask me? Okay. I wish they can ask. I wish they can ask me because we've been the player. You know, especially we need to educate. When you go to anywhere in the world, you go to China, you go to China, you will know every industry that is making up where it is. Everybody knows even in their country. If you told me about Google there, but here in Kenya, you can see like the way the Nakada came up with a list of I don't know how many hundreds of Google and how many do you know? How many do you know? You can only count less than 10. The industry is done there. But the public and the world. And in fact, when I met Turo, I remember telling him, for you to say that this one is uh, licensed, you license this, can you open doors to the public? Because there is basic requirements for every industry. Is it doing? Is it making hunger? Is it making there is a basic requirement? Whether you are starting. So, have they met the standards? Is this safe production? Sure. Yes. Good. Is it the same? Is it uh, being done the way it's supposed to be done? Because if it's a leak, it's supposed to be done the way the world is doing. So that even if you have a fallen in a year, we don't say, I can't take this because this one belongs to the So if we are talking of uh, moving forward, we need to do this industry very seriously. And it will be sad that we can allow industries that we know that are key to run. So we 
you must put our foot down yes. Yes. once and for all. Yes. Yes. So we, we, hope you're, we hope you're listening to Sunday Live. Let's put our foot down. We welcome you to the show, which will please to tell us what you're doing. Um, let's talk now about um, peculiar Kenyan habits. I think it was Michael Joseph who made that reference. But in relation to our drinking habits, we're seeing a lot of people consuming, maybe overconsumption of alcohol. Um, we're seeing younger and younger people drinking alcohol. What, what do we do about this? Okay, as a mother, which I know even my marketing partner doesn't go, I mean, go with me on this. Because I always keep on saying, the alcohol is for leisure. So you should only have alcohol when you're able to work and have your own money. You cannot use your parents' money to go and pay alcohol. So all what we need to do is because to, be, to be responsible. Kenyans should be responsible to us. And maybe by then, it is only to be sure that we can even uh, say, I don't need to stand on a whole plate. Because tomorrow, yes, 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 because tomorrow we need you. And you can drink, you can enjoy your beer, enjoy your drink, even on your next years. But you only do that if you start it responsibly. If you start it when time comes. It's not about 18, it's not about 21, it's about when you have your own money. You go to the bar. Buy a drink and enjoy. Because that food is it's not food, it's not milk, you know. Right. It's, it's, uh, yeah. So, so you want your customers healthy and well for a long time, having right. that one, two, yes, for yes. long, for many years. And the industry will remain for many years. Responsible drinking is what it's called. Yes. That brings me to the question of leadership, Tabitha. And you're taking a role in this space through the Kenosha Foundation with a particular focus on entrepreneurship. How far has this gone? Okay. Um, we launched it uh, two months ago. People have already applied and uh, we've already picked the, the people that have uh, passed about 14 or 15 people. And the CEO of the foundation is now going to visit them at least because we've got nine people. So yeah, he's still because he's down here. What's the point to this? What should we get? Yes. Uh, after getting a lot of support from Kenyans, and the Kenyans believe in uh, giving me that belief, like giving me that go ahead and prove that it can be done to the world, which you have done. I thought that an entrepreneur an doesn't require. It's not about money. It's not about. It's just that anybody is going to do this. Hand up. And just need to give a hand up. So what we are trying to do is to go outside there, find people that have already worked for the last three years. And that is the time people, people give up. They think there's so many challenges you can get. So we need to give that hand up for that person and give him away, show him his potential kind and give him his potential and all that. Okay, immediately after the people we pick, we'll go along with them for about five months, and then the two will pick that we'll give them uh, some token. But it's not about the token, it's, it's about, about yes, yeah, about the process and showing them the potential that they have and they can build the businesses that are beyond themselves and what we can do. We find each other, but maybe we haven't even spoken about the focus on family, the fact that the husband start this together as we mentioned and maybe work together and then we can leave the family. But now we're looking forward there's a whole load of investment that's going into the future of Kenosha. So let me ask you, pay the picture of Kenosha 10 years from now, where will we be? Okay. But now what is coming up, what has been coming up for the last two years is an expansion for let's say ten folds of what we do. Ten folds. Yes, ten folds, yeah. We're coming up with a one million historical story. So this ten folds, we are talking of capturing about twenty percent of the alcohol market of the income market in Kenya. And in fact we now we can't be able to go to each other, go to each other. And this one we are talking of the next next year by twenty fifteen, that will happen. We will launch and we will make sure that all this is now to the general and to Kenya. But then the that's not the end. We'll still work together, of course, with the 
entrepreneur with a foundation work goes in the foundation to make sure that even as we succeed, all what we can do back to the community is making sure that we are also every year, we are hoping one to analyze the potential and also build a company that is beyond itself. Because when we build, build the companies that are beyond ourselves, it's the only way that we can build companies that will create more jobs, uh, pay more taxes, they can, they can yeah. grow the economy. That's for my economy. Yes, thank you so much. I'm sharing those ideas. It's a big pleasure to have you. Thank you for the show. You can share your views uh, with us via Twitter, uh, Citizen uh, TV News, it is, or Citizen TV Kenya, or at Kenya Digital as well. Our SMS number 224 double to share your views. We will certainly send you to tell me that as well. Stay with me.